What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and to another weekly 3D model. This week we're going to be making an old toy ride, so let's just get started. So this one is a little bit nostalgic for me. I remember seeing small rides like this in malls when I was a kid and always wanting to ride them. So I thought it'd be fun to recreate one of our own for this week's model. Now I do apologize, this past weekend was quite busy so I didn't have a ton of time to spend on this week's model. So I did rush a few things like the UVs and topology. They could definitely be cleaner and I basically just smoothed the shapes and left them in high poly, but it is what it is, I was still happy with it. So this week's video is just going to be a time lapse speed modeling video, so if you would like to see this in real time, I will be uploading a slower paced video to my Patreon page, along with all the working files and the FBX model, so if you're interested in seeing any of that, you can find it in the link in the description below. Also, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you like this type of content and you want to see more 3D modeling videos, subscribing to the channel is the best way to help support my work and also help with this whole algorithm thing, so hopefully I can share these videos with more people. Now when it came to modeling this old toy ride, like usual, I wasn't exactly sure with how I wanted it to look. I used a couple of images I found on Pinterest for reference, but I still had to play around with a few things along the way while I tried to figure out how I wanted the shapes to look. So let's take our time, start blocking out the main shapes, and then we can slowly start adding some detail.
All right, so that is everything for the 3D modeling. Now, right before we jump into the texturing, I really quickly wanted to go over the model and how I prepared the UVs, and we can go over exactly how I grouped everything together. So here's a model in its finished form. Now, one thing you may notice, which is a bit different, is this small step. I just added this really quickly once I was finished the UVs or throughout the UVing process. I thought it was just looking a little bit bare on the bottom, and I thought one step would just help a child or someone jump into this little toy ride. So I just decided to add this small little object. Other than that, everything is the exact same. Oh, and one other thing, I just added this small note as well. I thought it'd be fun just to add an out of order sign on this little coin box. So I think those are the only small little details I added into the model. So what I decided to do was group this thing into three different groups for the three different textures applied. Now, I just decided to go with three textures. You can decide how many textures you need depending on how your model is going to be used. Now, this was just for my YouTube channel for this video, so I just decided to split it up into three. Now, I could have done a little bit more just to get a little bit more resolution, but it is what it is. So let's quickly go over exactly how those UVs look. So if I open up my UV editor, I can open up my first group, which is the body. Now, I just decided to group the main ride object itself into one map. I thought it just made sense. Now, like I said, I could have split this apart more just to get more resolution on some of these objects, but I thought this would work for this week's video. Now, the second group and texture is the coin box. I just thought it made sense to split this up on its own. Now, I could have combined this to the stand itself into one texture group. I had a lot of room, as you can see, in this UV editor to work with, but it just I decided to split it off into its own group. And the last texture and group is the stand, and that's pretty straightforward. I just made sure that all of these UVs were nice and straight in my UV editor so I can add that text really easily later on in Substance Painter. But that's basically everything. That's how I grouped this object or this model together. Now let's just export this. We can jump over to Substance Painter and we can start texturing. Now really quickly, before we export, I just want to make a note. If you are interested in seeing the whole UV mapping process, that will be part of the real-time video I'm uploading to my Patreon page. And you can find all of that in the link in the description below. All right, let's jump over to Substance Painter. So now jumping over to Substance Painter, we can go ahead and load in our FBX file from Maya. Now, just like every other model on this page, I'm just going to slowly build up those materials along the way and start by just filling in those empty meshes with some sort of material. So what I like to do is start off with those smart materials. They're really awesome in Substance Painter and it gives you a great base to work off of. And then you can slowly add those details with different fill layers and masking effects to build that dirt and grunge on top. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I am using some reference that I came across on Pinterest but I didn't want to be too stuck on one idea, so I try not to stare at those references too often and more or less just build it along the way depending on how I thought it would look. Now, a few things that were bothering me along the way you'll find is just the reflectiveness of those textures. So that red and blue paint that I had on that ride, I didn't know if I wanted it to look really glossy or if I wanted it to look more rough. So you'll see I just kind of go back and forth throughout them all and at the very end, I decided to make it a little bit more glossy, but Little things like that can sometimes bother you and really drag out the whole process. And that's basically what happened here. This whole texturing process took a little bit longer than I originally planned, but that's just because I was indecisive and I really didn't know how I wanted it to look. Anyways, let's just slowly fill in these empty meshes with materials and we can slowly texture our small toy ride. Once again, if you're interested in seeing this in a real time pace, all of this will be uploaded to my Patreon page and you can find that in the link in the description below. All right, let's just continue texturing.
And that is everything. That is the whole 3D modeling and texturing process that I did to create this old toy ride. I really hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you did, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to see more weekly 3D content. Also, don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can be notified when my next video is released. And if you want to see this video in a real-time pace and see the whole UV mapping process, as well as get access to additional working files like the 3D model and Substance Painter file, all of that will be uploaded to my Patreon page, which you can find in the link in the description below. And a really big shout out to all my Patreons, I really can't thank you all enough. Your support goes an extremely long way in helping support this channel, and I just wanted to give a special shout out to all of you, so thank you for all of your support. Alright, let me know what you thought of this video, and once again, thank you all for tuning in, and I will catch you in the next one.